Hey YouTube, it's Bria Loren, and today I'll be showing you my full wash day routine featuring the main choice. So if you want to know the details on this, then keep watching. I'm starting off with a mess on top of my hair. My hair is dry, and this is a big no-no, so we are going to get this hair looking right. I am starting off with drenching my hair in water. This is to get all of the product out of my hair and really just get my hair saturated and coated and making sure my hair is completely, completely wet. Then I'm just going to put my hair into four separate sections. As you know, I love working in sections because it makes the process so much easier. Starting with the back section, I'm then just going to run my hair under water and start with some finger detangling. Starting with a detangling hydration shampoo. I love the shampoo because it's so moisturizing and it smells great. And yes, this is a shampoo that actually does detangle. I mean, what shampoo do you know that actually detangles your hair? This hair, this does not leave my hair stripped. This is perfect. I'm just gonna rub this all on my scalp, rub it through the ends of my hair, making sure all of my hair is clean. And then I'm gonna use my scalp invigorating brush just to lift away any additional earth and stimulate my scalp. And then I'm just going to thoroughly rinse out the shampoo. And as you can see, my curls are defined. Following up with the Tangling Hydration Conditioner, this conditioner has so much slip. It leaves my hair so soft and again, it smells amazing. So I'm just going to run that throughout the section. This is so, while I'm working on the other sections of hair, my hair isn't just product free and just getting dry. I want my hair to stay moisturized throughout the wash day. So I'm just gonna leave this conditioner on while I work on the other three sections. So I'm just gonna repeat this process through each section. I'm gonna saturate my hair, do some finger detangling, shampoo my scalp and let the shampoo run down the length of my hair. Use my scalp invigorating brush to lift away the dirt and stimulate my scalp and rinse. Then I'll just follow with the conditioner and I will rub that through my hair and twist it away while I work on the additional sections. Once my hair is washed and conditioned, I will then just run my hair underwater just to rinse out the conditioner. And now for the star of the show, my personal favorite is deep strengthening and restorative mask treatment. This is a staple of mine. I absolutely love this deep conditioner. It leaves my hair so soft and moisturized and it really does eliminate the breakage and the shedding that you would normally see on a just regular basis with dealing with your natural hair. I really have seen a huge difference with using this deep conditioner for about mm, two months now and I, my hair is so much stronger. I mean, like this is a legit staple. So I'm just gonna run that through my hair and use my shower comb to do some serious detangling, making sure my hair is just free of knots. And I really wanna make sure my hair is covered with this product, so I'm just going to rub it all throughout my hair. I don't like to put my hair into sections or twist it up during this process because when I sit under my hooded dryer, I like each strand to get the full throttle effect of getting the heat to it. I feel like if I put my hair in twists, it's not gonna get the same effect if I just leave my hair free. Plus my hair is already detangled so I don't have to worry about it tangling up. Then I'm gonna put my hair in a plastic baggie and then again, I will be sitting under a hooded dryer for 30 minutes. You can also find the main choice products in Target as well as Sally's and Rite Aid 
And look at my hair after 30 minutes of sitting under the hooded dryer. My curls are so defined. My hair was so soft. It's just an amazing feeling when your hair is defined and soft. I mean, I know you can relate. So I'm just going to rinse my hair out, get the, the, get the deep conditioner out. I wish I could keep it in there forever, but we can't. And these are my curls after I rinse my hair out. Now I'll be following up with the growth oil, and this is very conditioning to the scalp. It stimulates for growth and is lightweight. I'm going to rub this throughout my scalp and massage it in, and then I'm just going to put it on um, a section of hair. I did put my hair back into four separate sections for this part, and I'm just going to squeeze the oil in my hair. Lastly, for product, I'll be using the 3-in-1 co-wash, a leave-in, and a detangler. And I'm just going to put this all through my section as well. Now, the reason I like to do the lock method directly after rinsing out my deep conditioner is because I have a low porosity hair. And when you put in the product directly after you deep condition, it's like your hair is basically open with arms for moisture when you rinse that out. So I like to rinse my hair out with warm water. Then right after that, just put in the oil and put in the leave-in conditioner. And trust me, your hair will be so soft once the air dries, you'll be ready for styling. So I'm just going to repeat that process all throughout my hair. And now my hair is basically ready for a twist out, a braid out, whatever I want to do was already in the sections, it's already moisturized. And this is the end of the video. Don't forget to check the description box for any main choice products and details on these products. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.